while Michigan has dominated the Little Brown Jug Series, the Wolverines have won nine of the last ten games, even on a wet track in 1988. Last year, in Bo's final season of Michigan, senior quarterback Michael Taylor, running back Alan Jefferson, put Michigan in charge. Leroy Horde's power running symbolized Wolverine superiority inside the Metrodome as the Rose Bowl bound Wolves retain the jug for the third straight year. Beautiful, partly cloudy day in Michigan, Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor. Better than 100,000 on hand to watch the Gophers and Wolverines battle for the oldest trophy in college football. The standings entering the final two weeks of the Big Ten season. Iowa controls its own destiny. Ohio State has reason to hope for January 1st roses. Minnesota, Michigan, Michigan State, and Illinois all still mathematically alive in the Big Ten title picture. Hi, everybody. I'm Wayne Larrabee along with Ben Bennett. You know, Michigan persevered through some tough losses early in the season. They lost three of their first six games. But since back-to-back -back losses here at home, they have turned things around. Well, the Michigan program figured they had hit bottom against the University of Iowa when they lost by one point. Since then, they've rebounded with three victories last week against nationally ranked Illinois. Michigan came back and not only won, but they played Michigan football. They ran the football very well, and they played very, very solid defense. You know, I'll tell you something. When you talk about special teams here at Michigan, you talk about kicking teams that are really special. Well, they say it's a third of the game, but for Michigan this season, their special teams have been dominant. The guy that's the big player for them is Trip Wellborn, recently named to the Kodak All-American team, in addition to being an All-American defense. DB. You see his numbers there. First in the Big Ten and fourth nationally in punt returns. This guy is exciting when he gets his hands on the football. The Golden Gophers offensively have an athletic quarterback that really worries defensive coordinators. Markel Fleetwood adds an extra dimension to Minnesota's offense. Well, Wayne, we've done games for a long time, and I've never been involved with a player that both coaching staffs have talked about with such adoration as Markel Fleetwood. This is a guy that when he gets his hands on the football can do a lot of things well. Unfortunately for a defensive coordinator, you don't want to see that happen. You want to see that happen to you this afternoon. Well, and Minnesota has a young defense. It's led by a safety, a junior who's having an outstanding season in Sean Lumpkin. Sean Lumpkin is the big star on this defense. And normally in the 43 stunt, it's the middle linebacker. But Lumpkin has 74 tackles, the third on the team this season. He also has has four interceptions and a block kick. This is a guy that can make things happen in any phase of the football game. All right, Ben, we've got a group of gophers in from Minnesota looking to steal a ceramic jug from a pack of Wolverines in Ann Arbor. It is a slice of Big Ten tradition. ESPN's College Football, Minnesota at Michigan, is brought to you by Pizza Hut, home of pan pizza that's winning the hearts of America. Pizza Hut, making it great. And by Interstate Batteries, serving you with over 175,000 dealers across the U.S. and now Canada. The Wolverines enter Michigan Stadium, each touching the banner tradition here at Michigan. This is Seniors Day and it's a very important day in the program of the Michigan Wolverines. Here is the Little Brown Jug restaurant. The Little Brown Jug is what these two teams play for each year. Here come the Gophers of Minnesota under coach John Gutekunst. Five and four overall. Four and two in Big Ten play. Wayne Larravee and Ben Bennett. And the matchup, the Minnesota Golden Gophers and the Michigan Wolverines ranked 16th overall in the nation. And as I mentioned, we have been blessed in the Big Ten this season with tremendous weather. Mostly sunny skies, temperature 43 degrees. It's a little cool. Winds out of the northwest at about 15 miles per hour. But I'll tell you what, this is a this is a tropical day in these parts for this late date in the season. Coach John Gutekunst coming up later today. The big one, Penn State, 18th ranked against top-rated Notre Dame from South Bend. And then we've got Auburn and Georgia in what should be an intense SEC contest tonight at primetime. Now they're waving. 
coming to you from the big house. But folks, when they start the wave here, trust me, it's a wave. <laughs> yes. this, this is what's known as a tsunami, short for the tidal wave. First down for the Wolverines. Gerbach going to the air. A tough catch. Jeez. Desmond Howard. First down near the 48-yard line of Minnesota. You saw him on the athletic catch in the end zone. Watch this across the middle. A quick play action fake. Gerbach spots Howard. Whoa, look at this. And Desmond Howard, we told you we'd call him magic. He reminds Michigan players of another wide receiver they had here a while ago, a guy named A.C. Rob Jex, a senior out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. First down, Gophers. The Minnesota 21. Carter. Carter has run hard here today in this first half. And he... Because it's your money. Call 1-800-4-CARS for your travel consultant. Right. Wayne Larrabee, about 100,000 plus on hand. Some young, some old. <laughs> There's a youngster right there. Well, we haven't had a, an exciting first half thus far, Ben Bennett, but uh, I wouldn't go to sleep on this. Wayne Larrabee, Ben Bennett, here's how Minnesota caught and passed Michigan. You could be in the right spot at the right time, but you have to make the play. All-American Trip Wellborn right there, but he's got to honor the pitch, yeah. man. He can't come back in in time to stop Markel Fleetwood from getting the ball into the end zone. Big play for Minnesota. Brett Berglund's kick is, as you see the scoring drive. Wayne Larrabee, Ben Bennett, we are in Ann Arbor, Michigan, the big house, Michigan Stadium. Minnesota at the moment leading by three. The Wolverines facing a third down and about nine yards to go. Inside the Minnesota 20. Gerbach. Down he goes. Andre Davis, the linebacker. Big play for the, the series, winning nine of ten. I'll tell you what, that sun is going under. For 20, they trail by three with 10.57 to go in the third. What's happening is Dean Dingman and Greg Skrepinek are driving their guys eight, nine, ten yards down the field. And they're just getting frustrated. You know, you see Dingman, the All-American. Skrepinek at 6'6", 322 pounds, is the largest player ever to strap on a Michigan helmet. Face back, 15 yards, first down. Face mask penalty. And Skrepinek, as you see him right there on the screen, was actually the preseason All-American by everybody in everybody's uh, team. He was the player that everybody was looking at. Dean Dingman, all Big Ten last year, came on this year, and we talked to Gary Muller, and he said, this guy has just been on a mission. He's played possessed. He came off his shoulder surgery last year. They weren't sure how he was going to do, but this is a guy that wants to be the best football player on the field. First down now for Michigan, out of the 45. Nibs him from behind. Ben Williams makes the sack back near the 39-yard line. Loss of six. Interesting call. With less than two minutes left in the game. A first and ten. You've been running the football very well. He wanted to go.